Do you know the difference between LCD and OLED? Then stick around for this video. I'm going to show you a comparison based on my experience with the ASUS UX325 OLED laptop. So let's get to it. When looking at a computer screen, the image that we see is created by small dots or squares called pixels. Now, the more the pixels there are to form the image, the more the image looks real or accurate. Any digital image is made up of pixels. And when someone talks about the resolution of a computer monitor or TV screen, they are referring to the number of pixels. That's where you hear terms like uh, HD or Full HD or 4K or even 8K. For a pixel to form an image, light is passed through it. And that's where the two technologies come in, the LCD and the OLED. The difference is not just in the naming, but the ideas behind them and their benefits. An LCD, short for liquid crystal display, also referred to as LED LCD, uses liquid-filled crystals to produce images. The liquid crystals don't produce the light that is used to create the images. Instead, they propagate light created by a separate device where a backlight is used to illuminate the pixels to create the image. With OLED, on the other hand, short for organic light emitting diode, pixels produce their own light, with each pixel standing independent from the next pixel. With the definitions out of the way, here are five reasons why you should go with OLED as opposed to LCD. Number one, high contrast true black. A good LCD screen can offer a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1, meaning that the whites are 1000 times brighter than the blacks. OLED screens, on the other hand, have a relatively higher contrast ratio of 1 million to 1. You can't get darker than that. <laughs> and why is high contrast ratio good? Well, higher contrast ratios make viewing and working easier on your eyes. Have you ever watched a movie and at the end of a scene where it's supposed to cut to black or uh, pitch darkness, the screen is more of a grayish something blackish, but not black. Well, that's the LCD screen, which never is quite as contrasty. All ASUS OLED displays are Visa Display HDR True Black certified, ensuring remarkable visuals with HDR content, offering brighter highlights, and a wide range of color detail for punchier image overall. Oh yeah, speaking of color, Number two, more vibrant colors true to life. OLED screens offer saturated colors which are pleasing to look at, especially when watching HDR content or doing creative work. ASUS OLED displays also offer a wide cinema grade, 100% DCI P3 color gamut, which ensures richer, deeper, and more vibrant colors than the sRGB standard popularly used with LCD screens. Okay, <laughs> let me take it back a bit. What is color gamut? I mean, I don't want to be throwing terms your way just for the sake of it. Color gamut is the entire range of colors and tones achievable by an imaging system. More specifically, the portion of the color spectrum that can be reproduced when transforming colors from RGB to C. MYK. By this I mean, uh, you know the way there is uh, Richard of York, there is red and then there is orange and then there is yellow, okay? To get to yellow, there is orange. Now, before you get to orange from red, there are actually many more colors. There is orange and then there is burnt orange and then there is sun orange and then there is yellow sun, like <laughs> there are many, all right? This is a detail that is best displayed on an OLED screen as compared to an LCD one, where the colors just aren't as accurate. Now, this also answers why ASUS OLED laptops are preferred by video editors, photographers, uh, graphic designers, etc. It is thanks to the vibrant and color accurate screen that is also Pantone validated. Pantone provides a universal language of color that enables color critical decisions through every stage of the workflow for designers, producers, uh, brands, and manufacturers. Pantone is recognized globally as a trusted and familiar color system used across many markets and professions. Also, as a bonus, since OLED panels are thin with the pixels close to the surface, you get really great viewing angles when compared to LCD screens. OLED screens don't have the off-axis issues that the LCDs have, and the image looks the same even from extreme angles. Handles color quality and detail levels better even at low brightness. 
if a TV or a phone screen is not showing you a very good picture, usually, what is the first thing that you choose to increase? Brightness, of course. Well, here comes a shocker. The detail levels and color quality on OLED screens stay the same when the brightness of the screen is reduced, which means you can enjoy watching crisp content without having to increase the brightness. It's not me saying, it's what the technology supports. This is something that LCD screens can't match up to, as the detail and color quality reduces significantly when you lower the brightness. Watching movies in bed next to my wife has never been safer. Safe, cause uh, too much light from a laptop when someone is sleeping next to you, the backlash won't be pleasant. I mean, I win by getting good crisp detail image without leaving the comfort of my duvet. Bad habit, by the way, it should cease and desist. I should not continue doing that. Do not watch movies in bed. And she benefits by getting a good night's sleep without laptopers, screeners, lighters, interrupters. Say what? That's a scientific word for laptop screen light interrupting. <laughs> really fast response time and refresh rate. OLED screens offer response times that are as close to instantaneous as you can get with current technologies, such as 0.2 milliseconds. Traditional LCD displays require a separate LED panel for backlighting, which tends to cause lag and motion blur. OLED displays don't need a separate panel and therefore don't have this lag problem. This also results in faster refresh rates and wider viewing angles. OLED displays can have refresh rates up to 144 hertz, which makes for a faster and more enjoyable experience overall. The superior picture quality and faster refresh rate means that OLED laptops are great for gaming and superb viewing experience for sports action, best enjoyable when smooth. It's also worth noting that most of the best OLED laptops available right now are actually gaming laptops too. Asus gaming laptops. Number five, OLED screens are better for your eyes. Oh yes, OLED screens, especially those that Asus uses on its laptops, spot 70% reduction in harmful blue light emissions for improved eye care. The blue part of the color spectrum is shifted to less harmful wavelengths, hence reduced eye problems, and this feature comes in handy for small children as it prevents premature aging of their retinas that haven't fully developed. This reduction in blue light also reduces eye strain and OLED displays contribute to overall comfort when working on your laptop for extended periods of time with reduced cases of headaches, as would have been attributed to long screen times. Verdict. All in all, if you are a creative or someone who relies on their laptop more for entertainment and productivity, the excellent color reproduction, inky blacks, and wide viewing angles that an OLED display provides makes a lot of sense when compared to an LCD-based laptop. With the Asus UX325 OLED laptop, the screen is more than it has to offer. Check out the link below for more reasons why you should have this laptop as your daily driver for sure. See you in the next one.